Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how you can insert a Microsoft form into your presentation. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of this, just get rid of these two text boxes and then go into the insert tab and selecting the forms option. And you've got two main options here. Once you click on forms, the pane appears on the right hand side where you can create a new form or select a form that you've already got. So I'm just going to insert this one on this slide and then you can see how it works and then I will create a blank form through PowerPoint and then you'll see where it sits. So if I just bring this in a bit and then just move this across. So this is a form, we've got a, a sliding bar so you can see all the information in this form and then that just sits there and just make it a little bit smaller you can have it as big as you want because it's a sliding bar they don't need doesn't need to be full screen and then they can answer these questions and you can then submit it at the bottom so how does that look in full screen so in full screen it looks exactly the same you've got your sliding bar down the right hand side where you can slide down these can now be answered by ticking and you can enter the data into these other boxes if so if you want so just put some information in there it's easy and then just all the way down to the bottom whatever you want type your answer and then at the bottom you can just click on submit and then that will submit that into your forms area in Microsoft Office 365 and if I just come off this back to the um, normal view you can see the forms in there so that's been sent now to create a new one yourself if I click on this side and just press enter get myself a new slide and just change the layout you don't have to change the layout but I am going to to a blank slide now the new form option is going to open up Microsoft forms and load it so you're going on to office 365 so you would need an internet connection to do this so you just follow the process through you give a title to your form so I'll, I'll just call this um, courses online for example you don't need to put a description but then you, you just go through the process of building up your form you've got this option here where you've got choices text rating and then a date and then a few other options in there so if I click on this one choice um, question do you prefer online training for example and then you've got two options this one just going to be yes and then no so that's just a yes no option and then you can add another question so this could be a text option how long this probably should be um, do you think an online session should be and then they're going to write their answer there now to be honest if you're going to collect that sort of data you'd probably want it with some options so you can force how they're going to answer it new and then you've got a rating there and then you just got a how do you rate this form and then add new um, not bothered about a date but you've got a pr promoter score so let's click on this one so it puts this little sliding bar in there and that's a deep default text that's okay I'm happy with that all of this is getting saved automatically and you've got options for themes if you want to change the theme to be something different there's a few different ones here click on that one and then you've got your form there now if I close that you've got your form sitting as the other one did but this time you've just created this one and if I put that into full screen you get the same options I've left it full size it's scroll bars down the right but you can just yes I do prefer that this is the option here look what are people going to type here six hours or what are they going to type 
they can because you've not given them the options they can type anything there I love that I love that so then you can scroll down and click submit and then that will be submitted you can share that form if I go back to um, office 365 and onto the forms when you open up this one I'll just open this one this is the first one I put in there you've got responses there course requirement not responses on this this one but you've got collect responses on the top right and you can then I've got this anyone can respond it's not just people in my organization and if you look at below there you've got a a copy option for a link to this form so you can use that as well so hopefully that was of use putting forms into a PowerPoint sharing it on your intranet and then people can fill it in and respond as they feel fit so thank you for your time I'll catch you on the next one